today we are comparing three bankrolls from two different banks. On the left, we have Key Bank, and the other ones on this side are M and T Bank. Basically, how is this going to work? You can skip ahead if you don't want to hear this. Um, but whichever has the best funds will be determined the better bank. Although this does not mean this bank is superior to the other in any way at all. This is just for fun to see uh, which bank I get better coins from. Uh, how about we start with Key Bank? So no enders um, on these Key Bank rolls. Let's start with this one. Right. Um, let's see. This is a. Oh, we got a 2020 uncirculated. Eh, no, I'd say circulated. Okay, first find. We have a Canadian one cent 2005 um, KG. Don't know um, if that's mint or something. Again, I'm not familiar with foreign coins. Um, but really nice condition, actually. Alright, that's all we found for the first roll of KeyBank. A Canadian 2005 1 cent, um, and a 2020 United States 1 cent. Moving on to the second roll. I already see a, um, Canadian right off the bat. This is a 1988. Um, let me try to get that in focus for you guys. So, finding a lot of names today. Put that to the side. And let's see if we find anything else. Alright, another 2020. Another 2020. Alright, so the only thing I found in that roll was um, two 2020s and this 1988 Canadian cent. Last roll for KeyBank. Guys, I already see a Canadian right. That is a 1975 Canadian cent. Lots of Canadians in these KeyBank rolls. Another 2020 already. So for the last KeyBank roll, I found um, a Canadian sent 1975 and two 2020s starting the first m and t bank roll let's hope uh we do better uh with this bank uh another 2020 this is proving that the coin charge is not really that bad another 2020 first weedy of the day it's right here um Three, two, one, weedy flip. 1957D. It may be a newer date, but hey, it's already better than um, what I got in the key bank rolls. So that's it on the M&T roll number one. Moving on to roll number two. Roll number two for M&T. I think we have something. I cannot see the date yet. But just by looking at this, I am 100% sure this is an oldie. Well, let's make sure it's a weedy. Yep, it's a weedy, all right. 19. A 1918 weedy? This is a 1918 weedy, guys. I actually can't believe my mind right now. This is over 100 years old. I, I can't believe I just found this. I, this is the oldest weedy I've ever found corn roll hunting. This is crazy. It could be a 1919 or a 1917, but it's definitely in the tens, guys. I can't believe I actually got that on film. Okay, we got a 2020. That was the best roll I think I've ever done corn roll hunting, even though I only found one weedy. It was a 1918 weedy. Twenty twenty, another twenty twenty. Okay, I actually got a cool toner. Man, yeah, probably gonna toss it, but yeah, just a couple twenty twenties. Um, but we literally know who won this challenge. M and T Bank 
is the bank to go to to get rolls. Not sponsored by any of these banks, obviously. Um, I'm just because I've never used M&T before, but crazy. I can't believe I actually found that. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. Uh, make sure to comment um, what you think about this find. Um, you know, and everything down below. It's 19, 19, 18 for sure. Right there. 19, oh, yep, 19, 18. Insane. Or 1913. I'm I think it's in 1918. Um but yeah. Really, really crazy find. <laughs> really. I that's the oldest coin. I need to put this in two by two. If you're new, you got you gotta subscribe. Um uh, we're on our way to uh five hundred subscribers. Now I even have a podcast episode on this coin. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.